Hi everyone, it's Judy Craddock, the Body Confidence Coach from Heart Your Body, and welcome to another episode of Body Confident Friday. Body Confident Friday is where I share with you every Friday one tip to help you feel more comfortable in your own skin. And today's tip is to get other people's voices out of your head. I know it sounds a little bit strange, but bear with me on this one. When you're having negative thoughts about your body, have you ever stopped to question where that thought has come from or whose voice it might be? I mean, it could be your voice, but more than likely, the voice in your head has come from a family member up here or society in general, because our thoughts are determined by our beliefs and our beliefs are largely a product of what we're exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis. So that means that very few of our beliefs are actually original. Our beliefs have come from someone or someone else. And what we just tend to do is we accept certain beliefs without even questioning them. So they never really even came from us in the first place. And when it comes to our bodies, we've got a lot of really unhelpful beliefs. So believing things like in order to be acceptable, you need to be thin, to be successful, you have to be more attractive. And all those beliefs have come from someone or somewhere else and they're not things that have ever really come from us. Now if you want to get other people's voices out of your head and stop allowing them space in your brain, I've got a three-step process to share with you to help ditch some of those really unhelpful beliefs. So step one is to always question whose voice is really in your head when you're having a negative an unpleasant thought about your body. And sometimes just knowing whose voice it is, is actually helpful in shifting your perspective on that particular thought and allowing you to get rid of it. It could well be that that voice has come from beliefs that you've absorbed from family members and have never really questioned, or it could have just come from society as a whole. So just be aware whose voice it is that is inside your head in the first place. The second step is to really question the motivation behind that belief that has created the voice in your head. So when you have that negative thought, ask yourself who gets to benefit from you having that belief about your body. So if you believe, for example, that to be acceptable, you need to be thin, who actually benefits from you or anyone else having that belief? Well, the diet industry for one benefits and if that belief has come from a family member it's likely that that family member has got their own body image struggles and that they in turn have taken on that really unhelpful belief from someone or somewhere and then step three is to choose whether you want to keep that belief or not now making choices is a really empowering thing to do it means that you have stopped to question a belief that you have taken on board from wherever it's come from and you're actually evaluating whether it's helpful or not to you. Now it's possible for you to have some really helpful beliefs about your body. So say you believe that all bodies are good bodies and that they're not ornaments, they're there to help us achieve the things we want to do in life. Now that might be a belief that you think is going to really help you to be able to move forward in your life and so you want to hang on to that. But what about some of the other beliefs? What if you do believe that to be successful you need to be thin or more attractive? How is that really helping you? Is that really helping you be the best you can be in your life? Is that really helping you to move forward? And if it isn't, isn't it maybe time that you ditch that belief? Now if you decide to ditch a belief, I've got a really cool way that you can do it. And it's kind of a symbolic way of kicking the belief to the curb. So here's what I've done in the past, and it feels really great, is you write that belief down on a piece of paper, you either cross it out, you screw it up and throw it in a bin, you tear it up and throw it away, or even better, you burn it. And it's a really powerful way to symbolically ditch that belief for good. So I'd love to know, what unhelpful voices do you have in your head and which ones are you choosing to ditch for good? Leave me a comment below and don't forget to use the hashtag BodyConfidentFriday. 
Well, that's all I've got for you this week. Until next week, stay body confident and I'll see you then. Goodbye.